The SOCOM games have always been one of the premier online experiences on a Sony system. It's gathered a very devoted following amongst its tightly knit community, and so many people were really looking forward to its PS3 debut. Unfortunately, things didn't turn out so hard. Now, this is actually a difficult game to review because there are glimpses of a solid game under all the technical problems that I've encountered. Because Zipper is busy on their next project, Confrontation was made by Slant 6 Games, the same developer behind Tactical Strike on the PSP. These guys know what fans like about SOCOM, and it shows in their design choices. Fan favorite maps such as Crossroads and Frostfire are recreated, and there's a fair amount of customization for weapon loadouts. The 6-axis controller can be used to peek around corners or lie prone with a push downwards, and the official Sony headset that the game comes with is awesome. The graphics are generally good even if there's a lot of render and texture pop in, but overall, the groundwork for a solid SOCOM experience is there. However, it's sadly not to be. Simply put, this game was pushed out way too early. First of all, just connecting to the servers is a great effort. You need to hope and pray that you get in, and even when you do get in, there's a high chance of getting booted. I've encountered freezes that needed hard resets of the system, and snipers that shoot through walls. Lag runs rampant, and sometimes you're just thrown into spectator mode even if you join at the beginning of a match. However, my personal favorite is having people teleport like freaking Star Trek extras and shoot you in the back of the head during a match. It sucks. Now the tricky thing about this game is that it actually seems to kind of work for some people, and more power to them. But we've tried it on a couple different systems and configurations here, and with and without the patch, and the results were the same. In fact, the patch seemed to make some of the server issues worse, and although your mileage may vary, you'll still run into issues. This game shouldn't have been released as it is. Features such as a matchmaker and trophies are mentioned in the manual, but it's not actually in the game yet, and the stat tracking is completely inaccurate. When it works, the game's fun, but you have to wade through so many technical problems to get to that. Maybe the game will be patched to a playable state in the future, but until then, this isn't the SOCOM you were waiting for. For the full written review, head over to IGN.com.